Non-combustible minerals in your pellets turn into fused ash after combustion is complete, creating hard deposits called clinkers, which form at the bottom of the fire pot. The type and consistency of your ash and clinkers will vary with the quality and type of fuel used. We recommend that you clean the fire pot daily. A clean fire pot will ensure consistent lighting of fuel and maintain an efficient burn. If the fuel has a high mineral and ash content or you're burning shelled field corn, clean the fire pot more than once a day. Before you clean the fire pot, allow your stove to shut down and cool completely. Pull the fire pot clean out rod in the front of the stove just below the ash lip and slide it back into the closed position. Be certain the fire pot floor plate is fully closed when finished. If the floor plate appears to be stuck closed, scrape the floor plate while moving the clean out rod out and in a few times. Never pull the rod when the stove is operating. About once a week, stubborn clinker buildup must be firmly scraped and chipped out of the fire pot with a putty knife. At this time, you should empty the ash pan. Allow your appliance to cool completely and make sure there are no hot ashes in the firebox prior to cleaning. If you have an optional log set, carefully remove them and set them aside. The firebox ashes and firepot ash are all deposited into one common ash pan located in the pedestal. Open both the left and right side pedestal access doors. Pull on the back of the latch, then pivot the holding rod out of the pan notch on both sides. Always assume that ashes are hot and dispose of them properly in a sealed metal container. The amount of ash buildup in the fire pot will be a good guide to determine how often you should clean the heat exchangers. Typically, you should clean the heat exchangers at least once a week. This will keep your stove running at peak efficiency. There are two heat exchange chambers. Each chamber is equipped with its own cleaning rod. Simply lift the stovetop up by the front. To clean, pull the cleaning rod straight out until it stops. Slide the cleaning rod out and in a couple of times. Never pull these rods when the stove is hot. Ash can build up above the baffles, so it's recommended that they be removed for cleaning once a month. Be sure the stove is cold before cleaning the glass. To clean the glass, use a damp paper towel or any non-abrasive glass cleaner. Then use a dry towel to wipe off any streaks that may result. Never use any type of abrasive cleaner on the plated surface. This is a good time to inspect the door latch and window seals and ensure that they are in good condition and seal tightly. A tight seal is important for the stove to burn properly. The latch handle should snap securely in place when adjusted properly. To adjust it, open the latch and pivot the holding rod out. Loosen the jam nut on the rod. With a Phillips head screwdriver, turn the rod clockwise to tighten. After adjusting the latch, be sure to tighten the jam nut on the rod to hold the adjustment. Check the position of the thermocouple. Make sure it protrudes one inch over the top of the fire pot. It's important that the tip of the thermocouple be in contact with the end of the thermocouple cover. Push on the back of the thermocouple wire to make sure it's seated all the way in the cover. The exhaust system will need to be inspected and cleaned at least once a year or more often depending on the quality, type, and quantity of fuel used. The exhaust blower is mounted on the lower left side towards the back of the stove and should be visually inspected. The impeller on the exhaust blower can be cleaned and inspected through the access panel on the right side of the stove. Open the right side access panels and remove the four Phillips screws securing the access cover. Vacuum out any ash accumulation from the well and inspect and clean the blower impeller as needed. This blower requires no lubrication. The convection blower is mounted at the rear of the stove. There are two impellers, one on each side of the motor. You should inspect this blower at least once a year. Clean by simply brushing and vacuuming dust off the impeller blades. It requires no lubrication. 
For a more thorough cleaning, it will be necessary to remove this blower. A qualified dealer should do this during an annual service call.